This Oxfordshire company constructs frames for warehouses and shops, but now the precision of its work is in glaring contrast to the unpredictability of its supplies of steel. And raw material prices are moving so fast, what they're quoting for a job can be out of date within days. By the time it's gone through our design office, engineering and into production, we've already been signed the dotted line and agreed on that quotation. We could already be out of pocket before it's even got into our work. We know things aren't running smoothly. At Felixstowe, there aren't enough drivers to take containers out of the port, and there have been warnings that could lead to shortages at Christmas. The industry, though, wants to reassure. There's certainly very, very unlikely to be shortages of any essential goods um, this Christmas or indeed um, any other time of the year, but um, there's no hiding the fact that there are delays. It's really a delay of getting goods from the port to inland. And this is global. At Los Angeles, there's no room for ships packed with containers to dock. As economies bounce back after COVID, supply chains are seizing up. The Chancellor's been in America, talking to other finance ministers about how to fix this. And these are things that many countries are facing, and, and we're looking at all the different elements of the supply chain. And where we can make a difference, where it's within our control, of course we're going to do everything we can. I, I'm confident there'll be a good amount of, of Christmas uh, presents available for everyone to buy. The Labour leader was at a steel maker today, saying problems of cost to industry and supply were all things the government should have seen coming. We've seen it with fuel drivers, we've seen it with delivery drivers, uh, with abattoirs and other sectors. All of these shortages were predicted. And I think a lot of people were saying, why on earth hasn't the government therefore got a plan in place to deal with it? This was a central London store today. To make sure this is just a blip and not the start of something worse, someone has to fix the links in our supply chains. And Andy, that's the point. So what's being done about these supply chain problems? Well, Sean, we're expecting an announcement to have more butchers to be allowed to come into the country. Uh, we expect that announcement imminently. Remember, there was a lot of concern last week around the Conservative Party conference that tens of thousands of pigs were going to have to be destroyed on farms because there weren't enough butchers to get them into the uh, food chain. So we're expecting an announcement on that. Now, Boris Johnson has consistently been saying he doesn't want to reach for the lever of uncontrolled immigration, as he calls it. But he is under pressure to bring in people in specific sectors to try and unlock these blockages. Having said that, however, something like 5,000 temporary visas were issued to get uh, HGV drivers from the EU to come and work here. The government's confirmed that so far only 300 people have applied actually to be a part of that process. So maybe issuing more visas is not the whole story. So perhaps we're going to have to work out how we're going to uh, live with these blockages for a little while yet.